Hello everybody, Vape and Vinny back again, here with another hardware review for you folks, and it's bah, The Siege by Immortal Mods, or rather, that's the box it comes in. Here's the Mac. Oh yes. It's a beauty. Solid brass. And it's Diddy. Sent to me by Ariel Paxson of Ariel. Ariel, thank you very much, my brother. Much appreciated. That will not, however, affect my review of this mechanical mod by Immortal Mods made by Armageddon and MFG. It's a little beauty. It's a little beasty thing. It's not very big at all when you compare it to the size of the cell that's in it. There we go. Have a quick vape. Seems like a hitter. Let's get it down on the deck. I'll strip the mech to pieces. We'll have a look at how it works. The gubbins are going on. The firing mechanism. The whole shebang. So we'll get down on the deck and have a look. Okay folks, here's down on the deck. Here's the Siege in its flight box. Uh, Siege Immortal Mods sticker is because I got sent a brass one to review. Little gubbins on the back. Serial number 391. Designed by Armageddon MFG. Palm City, Florida. The website assembled in China. Um, underage sales prohibited. Keep out of reach of children. Box done. Let's open it up. And inside, you get a 25mm top cap, which is lovely. Seized by Immortal Mods, and my serial number of 391. When the camera wants to work again. Oh well, there we are, that's the 25mm, and you also get a big one, a 28.5, so you can fit a 25mm apocalypse on one top cap, like so, and a nice big meaty Elite on the other cap, so you have a choice without any overhang of the mech, then, which is a really, really nice little touch. I think I'll show you both of them when we come back up top. Let's move the box, and here's the tube that is the firing bar, lovely clean threads in there. As always by Immortal, lovely silky threads. Uh, locking mechanism at the bottom, just there. Uh, now I'll strip this quickly down and show you everything. Doesn't take long, there's only two Allen bolts to do. It is easier to get to the... Uh, there goes the bar. One Allen bolt. Two Allen bolts. They're quite a hefty Allen bolt. They're quite a long threaded Allen bolt. And that's the firing arm. Lovely finger pressings, engravings, indents. And a copper trillium firing pin, I believe. On there. Get that in focus. There we are, and the tube, let's pop out the locking mechanism, that's your bottom contact, obviously it's a constant contact mechanism with a side fire and that's where the pin contacts to make fire, and the tube, nice and solid brass, it's got a good weight to it, I'll uh, put up a full description at the start of the review with the weights and the heights, because it's not much too dissimilar to the size 
of its cell. It's probably the smallest 21700 mech I've seen, which is really nice. So I'll pop this back together now for you. You pop the bottom contact in first. It's easier with the bar out to do this. He says. There we are. One, two. That's that in place. Pop the firing bar back in. And the two iron screws. One, two. Nip them up. I'd not overly tighten these myself, just so it's pinched. There we are. Jobs are good on. Use that there. Right, we'll do a voltage drop test on this uh, mechanical mod. We'll do a check the standing charge in the cell first. Pop the settings onto the right ones. Let's see if the voltage meter wants to play ball today. And we have oh, 3.7 volts left in the cell. I'll pop that in. Oh, I better unlock it first. There we go. This could be a little bit tricky to do. I'll just juice that up so I don't burn my cotton and ruin my coils. The coils is just a straight 980 uh, one, 0 0.1 ohm. Uh, let's pop them on there. 3.7. That's oh, 3.4, so that's 0.3. 4. Point three three seven. So that's... 0.337. So that's... Wow. That's unbelievable. 3.4. So that's 0.3 of a voltage drop. Wowzers, that's low. Wow, 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 wow. Right, get this back up top and we'll have my pros and cons on the Siege Mechanical Mod. Hello, everybody, we're back up top with the Siege Mechanical Mod from Immortal Mods made by Armageddon MFG. Wow, what a voltage drop! 0 0.4 at worst. Wow, 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 wow. I thought that the nameless mod the other week was good. That's just blown my mind. I mean, I, I, I knew this hit well. I, I really, yeah, but 0 0.4 volts. That's beats the nameless mod of last week. It apparently beats a, beats a slam piece from Purge. They're apparently 0 0.5. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I have to say it does feel that it hits particularly hard. I thought that from day one, but I, I, I thought it'd be 0 0.5, 0 0.4 at worst, 0 0.37 at best. Wow. That is an incredibly performing mech. It's delivering the power out of that 21730 Tiarati. What more could a mech man want? Wow, that's impressive. Impressive. That alone for me... 200 pounds off Cloud Island, www.cloudisland.co.uk. Uh, in America, they're about $217 off Armageddon MFG. Wow, 0.4 at worst voltage drop. 
That is insane. Right. Let's forget that. Pros. Obviously, the voltage drop is a major pro. I love the design. It's it, it it's ergonomical, as you can see by the curves. Uh, you can hold it with your fingers firing it in your palm of your hand. Lovely. But my personal favourite is the opposite way. With your palm gripping there, little finger hanging off the bottom, and you just squeeze it into your palm. Instant fire. Oh yeah. Now, I was a big fan of the grip, which was another 21700 side fire mechanical mod from Immortal. But this thing is. It, I've had it for a week. I've used it and used it and then polished it up for today. And I had 24 hours without it, 48 hours without it once it was polished. I missed not using it. And that's comparing it directly to its predecessor side fire, the grip. Um, this thing will not be out of my hand. I will have this everywhere I go. Um, would I buy another one if I lost this? I most certainly would. Uh, I'd sell a kidney if I had to, folks. Because it just, yeah. It's blown my mind. It really has blown my mind. Oh, I'm using um, Jam Scone from Wicked Addiction for the review. Thank you, Wicked Addiction. Lovely juice. 0.4. Right. I have a con. Now, some people may say this is me nitpicking a little bit. But I have found a con with this mech. And I'm probably going to regret doing this. I'll just have another vape. It bloody hurts. Right. The con. That thing. That is the locking mechanism to stop accidental firings, and it's plastic. Now, I understand it has to be plastic, but it's really, really hard to turn. Now, there is a groove in the middle of it for a coin, but to me, the groove isn't deep enough for a coin. Uh, you can see mine's got signs of damage already, and that's after a week. But maybe I'm nitpicking. For God's sake, it's got a worst of 0.4 voltage drop. Um, yeah. Um, it's beautiful. It's really ergonomical. I love it in the hand. It's solid. It's pretty hefty. Really is a solid, solid mecha lump of brass. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm completely blown away by that voltage drop. I really am. Uh, it's lovely. If you're a proper mech head and you want something to hit, and maybe if you're a, a cloud comp person, just saying, gives you a nice advantage with that voltage drop. If I still did cloud comps, I know what I'd be using, let's put it that way. Uh, that's blown my mind. It really has blown my mind. Um, yeah. Like I say, main con is that plastic board. No, locking switch i don't like that it could have been a bit deeper and a bit more substantial but again like i say maybe i'm nitpicking trying to find a fault uh but i love this this is sensational absolutely sensational point three seven to point four voltage drop wow 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 if you're a mech head don't care where it's made performs like that looks like that feels as substantial and as quality as that you can make them wherever the hell you like for me because that is wow that is just a hit and a hit and a half wow 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 and i'm gonna stop saying wow that's it folks um just a heads up, I've got an interview coming up at the end of the month with Oliver Johnson from Morningstar Mods, who's got a lovely V2 button coming out ready soon. Um, I've got a hardware review for the V-Zone Preco 1 setup. I've got a juice review coming up for Rebel Vape, who make them lovely DNA mods. They've got a juice line. 
and loads of other juice lines various other little bits of hardware to do keep watching folks drop a comment like and subscribe if you want subscribe i'm not that forced uh i'm gonna be here forever <laughs> i ain't going anywhere um there we go folks if you want a hard hitting mock mock mech that's ergonomical in the hand it looks damn nice they also do colors uh, i nearly forgot them uh, but they are a bit more expensive for the coated ones and there's a special 420 one which i don't really understand with little pictures of things on it and stuff that's a lot more expensive there's kits with rdas with drippers with the elite again the more different you get this is the entry 200 pound on cloud island 217 on armageddon mfg or florida vape supplies there we go folks what a mech the first vaping vinny awesome mech wow super super impressive super what can i say i don't think i can say it anymore thank you all folks i'm gonna go and vape peace out love and respect keep it cloudy